closed. Well, it's the unexpected show of grace in a Texas courtroom that finds people all over the nation talking, including many here in Central Virginia. The image of 18 year old Brant Jean hugging his brother's killer has sparked an uproar with many questioning how he could be so forgiving while others applaud his actions. Tonight, new at 11, Brent Solomon caught up with Richmond, a uh, Richmond pastor and Brent, he says he understands why so many are confused. He sure does. Curdy tells me it's only natural, especially when feelings can be so strong. I don't know if this is possible, but can, can I give her a hug, please? Words of forgiveness compounded by a courtroom hug. Local people were fascinated because we've never seen a hug before <laughs> in that manner. Pastor Dante McCutcheon of Richmond watched the trial, and although he believes in compassion. But it's hard to stand on faith when feelings are so loud. All over social media, millions have questioned how Brant John could show so much compassion <laughs> to a former police officer who killed his brother in his own home, while others have shown overwhelming support. That forgiveness is not saying that what was done is okay. For Pastor McCutcheon, the case hit close to home. Because I am still waiting for justice for um, a friend and brother who was just, you know, killed a couple of weeks ago. We just buried him a couple of Saturdays ago. Yet he's found in his heart to forgive the person who took his life. I don't think that we have to rush to forgiveness. I believe that forgiveness is a process. One he believes comes with fulfillment. It's a life of freedom. The benefit to getting to that level is a life of joy that is unrestricted and, and, and cannot be touched by anything or anybody. He calls it peace that comforts even when you've had enough. But if we speak up more against wrong, we won't necessarily have to struggle with forgiving. When you get to the point where you understand that, you know, it's above us, you know, it's above us, then you have a life of peace. All right, Botham John's mother spoke out shortly after that courtroom hug, saying she doesn't want forgiveness to be confused with relinquishing responsibility. On your side, Brent Solomon, NBC 12.